Hey guys, Cranky Cows here. And the Shapester. We're back with more Fallout. We're on episode 6, which I think is called The Trap. It's been a while since we watched episode 5, but I think they ended up in a hospital, didn't they? Lucy and Maximus. Yes, they did. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, the, the strip lighting was leading... Oh god, oh, hang on. They ended up in a vault, didn't they? They did. That's but then... Right. Is that the trap? Because you mentioned about the this this is coming back to me. It's been about mm -hmm. I think two weeks since Something we last like that, watched yeah. episode five. You mentioned about the strip lighting. It looked like they were it was sort of leading them to that room with the the lock, mm -hmm. the, like the, the door handle door. that wasn't there, mm -hmm. and it's gone into a vault. So is that the trap? It could well I'm be. I'm guessing so. Yeah. I can't remember anything else that happened that was of note. I mean. Obviously, Lucy was kind of surprised to see that people had tried to repopulate America and failed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we realised that that was where Maximus lived mm -hmm. as a kid, the, the place that got blew up. Words. I'm struggling with words. Do you do you remember anything that <laughs> I'm happened? trying to remember if it was because it has been a while. There was obviously the uh, realisation back at vaults 31, 32 and 33, the whole thing about how it was opened from the outside by... Their mother. Rose McLean. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And um, what's Lucy's brother called? Oh, God. I God forgot. That's the name that keeps what's escaping his, me. What's his name? Anyway, Lucy's brother. He's him. Oh, God. And, and, the, oh, and the other guy. <laughs> no, the, the lady um, who's now the overseer. Yes. Her. Her. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Top quality content oh, here. Oh, yes. Um, That's what you come for, isn't it? They've had a bit of a sort of, I know what you're doing, I know what you're doing type thing. Of course, yes, because the vault, the other vault, which one it was, I can't remember which number vault it was. Vault 31. Yeah, basically it was just completely destroyed. And well, there were a load of dead everywhere. bodies outside And it, they and go in there and suddenly it's all... It's all fine again. again. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm. But also, Lucy's brother asked the new overseer of 33 what happened to his mother's Pip-Boy. And she's like, it was buried with her. Yes. And we know that it wasn't because it was used to open the vault, vault the 32. I think so. Where there was the crop shortage or the manufactured crop shortage. I don't know. Anyway. Shall we watch the recap? That'll probably help us with names. That will definitely help. <laughs> watch the recap, remind ourselves of like maybe some other details we might have forgotten about in this app. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, oh yes, God, I bit. forgot about that. <laughs> Here we go. Yep. Yeah, that's so obviously set up, world. isn't it? Mm -hmm. You're in the best place in the world. Ah, you say that. I don't think you are. We're in a vault. That's not necessarily a good thing. <laughs> yeah, because of course the game had really weird vaults, didn't mm. it? Galaxy News. Or was this back in the past then? Hello there. Hello. Yep, it's me, Cooper Howard. Today I'm here to show you a wonderful place. So he's a an advertisement for the vaults. The mm -hmm. age. There, that's better. <laughs> now I'm speaking to you from deep inside the fully livable model 96JQ1164. Test subject, though. Is. I mean. <laughs> What a song she sings. Now that right there is Vault 4's three-foot thick lead casing. Strong enough to keep out the rads and the reds. That's <laughs> so cringy. Now this corridor here is Sycamore Street, where you'll wave howdy to any one of your 200 neighbors. I wonder how much it costs to be in one of these sorts of vaults. This isn't just your average all-American family. No, Lloyd and Cassandra here are both scientists. And we'll be living and working right here in Vault 4. Why do they Five seem years. so fake? Well, mm, <laughs> indeed. You all are heroes in real life. And now you can be a hero too by purchasing a residence in a Vault Tech vault today. Because if the worst should happen tomorrow, the world is going to need Americans just like you to build a better day after. Do you think he was um, doing these adverts? Fellas, are you happy? In the hopes of getting a vault himself. Maybe. And then he didn't get one. I still think that's what's happened. Bud Askins, I oversee of Southern California operations. The future of all humanity comes down to one word. You know what's that? Management. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm awful happy for you, Buck. Okay. <laughs> Bud. Bud Askins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Yep. What do you say, you and me? Knock back a couple of pina coladas by the pool. There is a wrap party. All right. We go for a couple of hours. We shake a few hands. It's at our house. Ah, <laughs> oh, wow. Nice house. Very nice house. I guess he's doing pretty well for himself. So what happens for him to stop doing so well? Roosevelt, I'm sorry you can't come, buddy. I'm heading into enemy territory. Mm. No. Red's losing territory, more troops deployed to Far East. Hmm. Wow, so he's like 
really got status. Yeah, he's a real he? thing, isn't he? A real deal. I hope his wife doesn't leave him or something. Oh, not him Hello again. Hello again. Hi. Right. <laughs> he's just gonna carry on walking. He's just like, yep, yeah, fantastic. All right. Well, I only do it for close friends and beautiful women, but you two are already halfway there. <laughs> Wait, who's that? Matt Berry. It's Matt Berry. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm just here to harvest all your organs. <laughs> oh, it, yeah, you're right. That's so weird seeing him in something like this. Celebrating with the pitch man for the end of the world. Here, I lost a movie over these ads. Oh, wow. Bonnie Lewis said it was on moral grounds. Bonnie Lewis? She's done more ads than a fucking billboard. <laughs> fucking Hollywood reds. Radicalism is sweeping through Hollywood like a bad case of the clap. I've even got your friend, Charlie Whiteknife. Are you kidding me, Charlie? I have meetings and everything. It's a shit show with you, my friend. You know which way the wind is blowing. I mean, I did my bits in the same way. <laughs> what an expression. Robot they sell to housewives and there you go. Guess how much they paid me for that. Ten million? Not even no, that. I got 186 free tax. Maybe you could ask for more? Well, I did ask for more. And what did they say? My agent got them to throw in one of those robots. <laughs> <laughs> is he a housewife or a pervert? <laughs> My own voice saying, hello, sir, do you want to sit down? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking awful. I thought the studio owned that character. They did, and then Robco bought the studio. The future, my friend, is products. The end of the world is a product. And for those of us who can successfully embrace that, I'd say the future is golden. To the future. <laughs> yeah, there's the future. I, Bath Bartholomew Codsworth, am ever ready to serve. Because we haven't seen him for a while. I don't think we saw him in the last episode, did we? He had all those meds, didn't he? Yeah. Episode Hello, four? Destroying a legitimate business. That's illegal around these parts. Says so. The government. Good start. He's back to full health, though, isn't he? He's just had a shit ton of meds. Well, maybe this is straight after. So he's may yeah. not fully recovered yet, because he was on death's but door, wasn't he? he? Oh, Vault 4. So this is the fancy one. Is that the one that Lucy and Maximus have ended up in? I wonder. Mm. <gasps> ah. What the fuck? Are... That's yes, the bullet. It's Maximus's bullet. So is that where so they teeth are? For ammunition. Teeth. Oh. Fucking hell, man. I know you mentioned you're eager to keep moving, but your friend is going to have to recover here for a couple of days before it's safe to travel. I'm fine. So these guys were the you scientists, were not they? Large on your shoulder. Or was you're it? Fine. <laughs> I guess this is a vault doctor. We should listen to his advice. We can't thank you enough for letting us in. And are there doctors and scientists in here? here? Yeah. Oh, and we found his armor. Our surface foragers are bringing it back now. Oh, that's great. Thank you. I gotta admit, it sure feels good to be back in a vault. I don't know if you've been to the surface, but it is... Not great. I was born on the surface. Oh. Okay. My mother was a courier. I was 11 and traveled with her to Philly. Three days walk from home and we could still feel the heat from the blast. You're from Shady Sands. Many of us are. We were lucky to find such a hospitable community here in Vault 4. So that's interesting because Lucy's father was always on about going to the surface and making the perfect civilization there. Mm. And actually, people are coming from the surface into the vaults. Yeah, what's going to happen here then? You smell good. <laughs> well, we're in quarantine. Wanna fuck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? You want to have sex? Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know, uh, that w weird thing could happen. What weird thing? For some guys, you know, when they make it move, it gets all big and hard like a big pimple and then it pops. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> you know, what? that's uh, that's actually completely normal. It happens all the time. Every time, ideally. <laughs> we're, we're not supposed to. Oh, so he just hasn't been told anything about, God, that must have been what he was told. Whereas Lucy, like in the vault, I guess they were just told everything. <laughs> Wait. Test subjects. Wait. Wonderful. Oh shit. So it's not as it seems. We shouldn't be wasting time down here. You heard the doctor. Besides, we made a deal to find that head together. You're no good to me, Dad. So Is her head different? I think these people are trying to trap us here. No, they're not. Some of these people are from the surface. I think she's um, mm. had a chance to clean up a bit after being on the surface for however long. This is a cult. Same as any. It's not a cult. Everyone's smiling. Titus. This is a safe place. Lucy, mm. he was right before. He's, his instinct is spot on. Because in the vaults we recognize that we all need each other. Just like I needed you on the surface. No. Now, 
We're stuck here until you're able to travel. Give this place a shot. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your breakfast, but our overseer wanted to say a quick hello. Overseer Benjamin, this is Lucy and Titus. Oh, hi. Hey guys, just wanted to say hi. What the? Hello, and obviously, welcome to Vault 4. Just some housekeeping, a few things to be aware of. Stay out of level 12. Obviously, we'd prefer you not go there. Oh, and we only have one foosball table. So if you want to play, you got to sign up. Are these the most important things you can think of? I can't okay. focus on anything you <laughs> say. I think they're struggling too as well. And once again, welcome to Vault 4. We're glad to have you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <gasps> oh. They're doing weird sort of genetic... Hmm. What are they going to try and do to these that guys? Weird, right? I mean, yes. The That's what I'm saying. What people are nice. Yeah. Titus, I'm... Talking about his eye. Lots of people have one eye. Yeah, but well, not in the middle of the head. I mean, his was in the middle. It's a little to the left. And the level 12 stuff? I mean. What the. F Why does everybody else think that that's normal? Because they've been all brainwashed? Maybe. Or maybe they don't care and they've been a lot. Like they've let people experiment on them in return for somewhere safe? Maybe. Doesn't get any better than this. Oh, that looks pretty no. nice. You ever think about working somewhere else? I used to. I think about it. Quitting showbiz, buying us a ranch up in Bakersfield, back to being a real cowboy again. And what would I do? You would uh, look pretty and help me raise chickens. <laughs> <laughs> no. You would look very good in a pair of overalls. What's gotten into you? A gin martini. <laughs> I don't know. I've been reading too much news lately. Got me second guessing the whole city life. Mm, he's not feeling the adverts, is he? Mm. Oh, mm. she's got a pit boy. But Askins, he licensed them from Robco. We're integrating them with the Vault Tech admission systems. Vault Tech mm. admission systems. So if you don't have one, you don't get in. We have this one life. Do you really want to spend your nine to fives working with these assholes? I need this job, Coop. It guarantees us a spot in the vault. We've got money. We can buy a spot in the vault. One of the good vaults. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, she knows. Mm. Trust me. Right. So she's mm. hanging out in the right circles to try and get them into a nice vault. And yeah. One that doesn't do weird shit. Weird shit. Sorry you couldn't make it to the party the other night, Charlie. Guess you had one of your meetings, huh? One of your communist meetings? Come on, man. We watched people die together up north fighting against all that horse shit. Yeah, and for what? For the American dream. We're actors. We make movies, Charlie. Yeah, the American dream has me getting shot in the ass by you all day. You got five acres <laughs> in Tarzana. I think you're doing all right. Was he the bad guy? He's the fucking devil, man. He may well have been, yeah. yeah maybe. Sir. Do you know what fiduciary responsibility means? So the U.S. government has outsourced the survival of the human race to vault -Tec. <laughs> And vault is a private corporation. Yeah, that's never going to go well, is it? To make money mm. for its investors. And how does it make money? By selling vaults. That's called capitalism, Charlie. But they can't sell vaults if these peace negotiations go through. vault has the fiduciary responsibility to incite war. Sure that it don't work. Mm. I guess everything's a conspiracy, right? Come on, man. You sound like you're a cult. You're sitting here defending a system that's ready to set the world on fire, Cooper. Maybe you're the one in the cult. You should come to a meeting. You should learn the truth about where your wife works. I think he will. Mm. But I'm worried that they're going to split up over it. Well, at the very beginning, it was just it him was and their daughter. It's just him and Janie. I think he ends up losing his job. She gets a vault place and he doesn't. I want a house like this. These look <laughs> so nice. Hello? Uh, I'm sorry, Henry, but my wife prefers not to take work calls in the evenings. Okay, all right, bye bye. <laughs> uh, she's Henry. not having an affair with what? him, is he? Is she? Is Janie asleep? Uh, she's reading Little House on the Prairie to Roosevelt. It's going to be hard on her. You know, no dogs in the vaults. What? Aww. Well, that sucks. I don't think he sure. realized that either. No dogs in the vault, says who? That's the policy. Yeah, dogs eat meat, it's an avoidable inefficiency. Uh. Oh, it's tense. Mm. Who decided that there were no dogs in the vault? Well, I think that is a relatively trivial concern. I mean, what else do you have in store for us? Are the, are the blue jumpsuits 
Are those mandatory? What if I don't want to wear a blue jumpsuit? What if I want to wear a green one? So the bomb falls and you want to know about your wardrobe? No, yeah, but I it's, know about it's my freedom. just, mm. it's all important I didn't go to stuff. War defending that freedom so that I could live in a cellar under the boot heel of Chairman Bud Askins. And while you were away at war, I stayed home. I know you did. I was checking the mail every I day. I was waiting by the phone every night. And every night I was driving myself crazy, imagining the worst. So you do not need to tell me how bad war is, Coop. Every day I go into work and I think about how humanity can survive a nuclear event that will wipe out 90% of life on Earth. And I come home and you're talking to me about hiding out at a ranch up in Bakersfield. But when the bombs drop, a two hour drive ain't gonna cut it. So yes, there will be no dogs in the vault. And no, none of it is ideal. But if billions of people are going to lose their lives, I will do whatever it takes to make sure the people I love, that is you and that is Janie, aren't among them. I have worked hard to make sure we go into a special vault for management where we will oversee all of the other vaults. That is the best we can possibly hope for, for Janie. Oh, and Janie didn't make it in there. Oh, oh no, because he was with Janie, wasn't he? I'm sorry. I know you always try to do the right thing. That's what I love about you. I mean, you can see why when you hear it from that perspective. I like to think I'd have the ideals of, like, the communist. But, like, mm -hmm. to be quite honest, I think I'd go with the, the vault if I had to work a nine-to-five job and that was going to guarantee me a spot. Like, most people would get yeah. that, I think. I'm from a vault. So you are. Goosey McLean. Oh, no, Goosey. no. It's, it's Lucy. Oh, yeah, because that's going to help. <laughs> nope. It says Goosey. But hey, that's something. You don't meet a natural born vault dweller every day. You're from here? Five generations. I'm proud of it. Mm. Oh, I just thought because. No reason. Because people here seem to be refugees from the surface. Tell me about it. Good save. <laughs> oh. I grabbed a moldy one. Oh. Oh. You won't find anyone more open minded than me. But. They come in here with their smelly food and weird ideas. I don't understand. If you don't like people from the surface, then why do you keep taking them in? It's a policy from before my time. I think what you're doing here is a really good thing. And some of these people lost everything. And that was a tragedy. But it's like you can't make a funny joke about it without offending these guys. I mean, one funny joke I told on maybe 10 occasions. <laughs> what was the joke? Oh, I forget. All I know is, it was a huge bomb. Oh. Oh, dear. Any other questions? What's on level 12, and why can't we go there? <laughs> we don't talk about that. I... You should go now. I only wanted to... Goodbye, Goosey. Why is he calling a Goosey? That's so weird. They must have had great fun, like, doing the graphics work to give him one eye like that. Ah! His there power armor, nice. What's he looking so happy about? Yeah, I know. Apart from the fact he's seen his power armor. Does it have a fusion core? Still no. Is he thinking he's going to take a light bulb and stick it in there? I don't know. Where do you guys get your power from? Ah, a power core. Yeah. Why do I feel like stealing one of those is going to trigger a massive alarm or something? Mm, this is going to go so wrong. I see you found our fusion core. Hi! How are we just to light down here? Does it matter? I'm leaving soon, aren't I? <laughs> here. Yeah, have a pit boy. How about you sleep in a room of your own tonight? Yeah, but that's so they can track him in some way. Yeah, this is going to seem very, very strange to him, probably. Hmm. Oh, it's like a welcome pack. Hmm. It feels like a prison, though. Hmm. I couldn't live underground. We stayed in a hotel once in Birmingham, and it didn't have any windows. Oh yeah, one of those little pod hotels. A pod hotel. It was so claustrophobic. I did yes. not like it. And I wasn't even underground. That was just like, ugh. Like, you couldn't even tell what time of day it was. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, how does this work? <laughs> All these things he's... <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat the soap. Experiencing a hot shower for the first time in his life. Is he going to be uh, swayed by it and Lucy's going to want to leave? Maybe, because she's had the experience of the Overseer and now he's experiencing... What it can be like Life here. on the other side. Is that caviar? Yeah, I think it was, yeah. Excuse me? What the fuck is this? <gasps> oh, she used to teach history, didn't she? Mm-hmm. Interesting how she's still wearing her Vault 33 jumpsuit. Oh. I wonder if what they teach here is different from what she learned. Shady Sands found... Shady Sands founded 
the California Republic created, the fall of Shady Sands. So that's confirming what Maximus has told mm -hmm. her. The new California Republic. The music. Hmm. What's going on? It's a surface dwelling tradition. You're welcome to come. Okay. Sure. I was expecting another okie dokie. <laughs> Alas, she's not completely sure about this, is she? Back with these guys. Mm hmm. It's been a strange episode so far. Yeah, we've jumped around a bit because obviously the last time we saw him. The government. <laughs> they took him to back to another flashback, didn't they? Or we saw another flashback. A Sorrel Booker. I heard it was a ghoul that fucked up that super duper mark. Nobody told me it was the ghoul. Alas, it wasn't actually him. He mm. was just there. Say, so you got a needle in three. Sorry. We don't do a lot of knitting around here. It's called sewing. I think I got some in my bag. Oh, is he going to sew that finger back on? Well, that was, was that her Lucy's finger? finger. Would you mind? That's Lucy's finger, not his, though. Mm -hmm. So this is a trick. <clears throat> do not untie him, because he's going to murder you all. Oh, dude. Look at you. 200 years. I don't know what keeps you going. Maybe you just like the feeling of that good old California sunshine oh. on your... Oh, no, Lucy Wait, bit it off. Lucy yeah. bit his finger off. Mm. Maybe you're still looking for her. Janie. Ooh. Well, Sorrel, I sure as hell ain't still alive so that I can have unintelligent conversations with dipshits like yourself. Mind your fucking mouth. You're going to get killed first. Hmm. With your own gun, Ooh, probably. President. Don't say why not. Somebody's got to step up and bring some order around here. You know why these boys brought you in? Cause I fucked up a poor defenseless gang affiliated organ dealership. That super duper mart you gutted was under our protection. So if I wanted to let you go scot free, folks might lose faith about what we're trying to do here. Once he sewn his what? finger on, <laughs> I'd be worried. Anarchy in the streets. Now you got anything to say in your defense? Guilty as charged. If you need any more evidence, I can tell you about this town I just shot up. Philly, oh, I must have killed nine or ten people. My daddy lives in Philly. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he's a coward. Don't take the bait, son. Sheriff Rex, take Sheriff Troy's guns away. Take him out back and feed him to the hogs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oof. Oh, in Shot the, in the dick. Yeah. God damn it. I got one question for you, old buddy. Why do you have this picture on your wall? Yeah, what she wanted That's for. It's not how I remember her at all. Interesting. Mm. Well, how do you remember her? We're not going to get the answer to that, but now we're going to have a little flashback to that meeting that we're talking about. He remembers Moldova? Interesting. Mm. Oh, so they all take their pit boys off. We just leave them in a pile like that? How would yeah. you know who's is whose? They've all got numbers on them. So it's like a memorial for Shady Sands? They're like candles and... This is a bit culty. This is very culty. Well, apparently a surface dweller tradition. Oh. Uh, what? Okay oh, what, then. What? <laughs> what the... She's like, okay. I'm just going to do it down to here. Thank you. Tell me about your acting credits. I got my tits out on Fallout. Are they basically going to have an orgy? I have no idea. Is that Birdie? It is Birdie. Are they worshipping her or something? What the fuck? It's not a sacrifice. <gasps> Flame Mother. Moldava. Uh... Is, I wouldn't be eating anything. I don't think that was to eat, that was to put on her forehead. But it's, it's ashes, yeah! Oh no! Oh crap! Are they gonna sacrifice someone in the group? 
I'm expecting to see a certain person when we go back to the flashback. Mr. Howard? Is that Moldova? Yes. Well, well, well. I'm a big fan. Okie dokie. Okie dokie indeed. Titus. Let's get the fuck out of here. We need a talk. Yes. <laughs> you were right about this place. No. You were right. He called it. These are called oysters? You want one? They make you feel so good. You want to make my cock explode now? <laughs> Sorry. Intercourse? No, Titus. No, we need to leave right now. These people are insane. Yeah, they're like you. A little weird, but nice. Close <laughs> my arm. You know, I really, I ought to give it a little more time. I get why you'd want to stay. I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to go back on our deal and, and just be somewhere that is good and safe. But this isn't it. Mm. But this isn't it. They gave me a robe. <laughs> it's filthy. <And> <laughs> These people are hiding something from us. I'm gonna prove it to you, okay? What's down in the basement? I still want to find out. Mm, level 12. Is she going? Do it. Is she gonna get stuck down there, though? I'm worried that they're just waiting for her to- for someone to go down there. And... Hello, Goosey. <laughs> yeah, and Titus is gonna have to snap out of it. I'm worried. Yeah. I'm worried. Steal the fusion core and put it in his armor and then get her out of it. Okay. Is this where all the test subjects that didn't work out end up, maybe? Mm, um, um, is that meant to happen? Uh, she doesn't look too uh, happy about that. I mean, yeah, of course, all the experimentation they might have been doing, they might have created some... Uh, Very unusual. Yeah, interesting creatures. Authorised personnel only. Great. <gasps> the hell? Uh, oh. Yeah, so it's a lab. Or oh, is that a face I can see in that, that first That looks like draft? a face, yes. God. Eyeballs. Oh, wow. Oh, no. oh God, are they... Oh, no. Oh, what the oh, fuck is she giving birth to? Jesus. She's giving birth to fish. Oh, no, that's wrong. Oh, man, they start eating her. Oh, my God. They're doing, like, crossbreeding shit. Hmm. That looks like it's a, a pregnant, body. It's a pregnant body. Is it frozen? It might well be. Yeah. Cryotech. Oh god, there's loads of them. Jesus. Are they just keeping them on ice to then use them for experiments? Oh, <gasps> shit. Someone's down here. Uh-oh. With his extra nose. Glad you're alright. I saw the doors open. I worried one of you might have gotten out. That doesn't bode well, does it? <laughs> she does not want to get caught. Hmm. Shit. Great. Oh no. Oh, wonderful. Oh no. <gasps> oh. Was that acid? I think it might have been. Oh shit. Maximus, where are you? Yeah, could use you right about now. You're crazy! Oh, and here's Birdie. Crazy. Your entire culture is insane! I'm sure if we came to your home, we would say the same thing. No! Wake up, man! Is he gonna see her dragged past, though? <laughs> nope! He's just sat there and happy. For now! Let's leave it on a bit of a cliffhanger, as always. Yeah. Wow. That was some gnarly shit. It was. The Bloody woman <laughs> giving birth to the... What What creatures was she giving birth to? Was it like crocodiles? Alligators? It looked like Fish? something like that. Piranhas? <laughs> Whatever it was. Something she shouldn't have been yes, giving birth quite. to. <laughs> so have they taken those women... Like, for example, were they like Lucy's age? They've frozen them, impregnated them... And then they're going to just see what happens? Like, why? Why would you do that? There'll be some scientific thing that I'll be trying to achieve, which just on the outside is just like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are they hoping to gain, though, from, like... Yeah. God knows. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's just kind of blowing my mind a bit. Yeah. Um, and the fact that Moldova is the leader of the... I keep saying wanting to say, like, the Communist Party. 
Because oh no, there is the communist party. Like they're calling them the communist party, aren't they? Like I know what you mean. Or the communists, yeah. the, the the people that they're are opposing meeting. Voltech. Yeah, let's put it that way. They're opposing Voltech, and she's like the leader of. So obviously, the main question I have is: she's the same age then as Cooper. Mm-hmm. She hasn't survived by being a ghoul and being radiated. How the fuck is she still alive? And does that mean Lucy's dad was still alive then? Like quite possibly, as in, was he alive back in in that time as mm-hmm. well? And what was his role in everything? It all seems a bit strange, and I'm hoping we're going to get some answers at some point. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to get early access to our Fallout reactions and uh, other gameplay videos, then uh, you can head over to Patreon or become a YouTube member. Or if you just want to like and subscribe, that's cool as well. And we'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye. See ya.